Hey guys, Internet Dude here. I'm just about to embark on my first cold weather road trip. It's just over 150 kilometers to go. Um, I have a full charge. Um, just wanted to say there's a 16,476 kilometers on the car. And uh, with range mode turned on, that's 426 kilometers of range. And with range mode off. Uh, 422. I've had my car probably about eight and a half months. So uh, the car's got a full charge. I preheated the interior and uh, we're pretty much ready to go. The trip uh, is showing. We're going to start with 100% battery and uh, we're going to end up with 63%. Now the temperature, the car was in the garage and it was plus 12 degrees Celsius and along the drive it's probably going to drop to somewhere in the minus 20s. Um, I think it's minus 18 right now outside outside, and uh, it's gonna get cooler. So we'll see how it does in the cold. Stay tuned. All right, quick update here, guys. Uh, we put on about 52 kilometers. Um, I've been driving 90 kilometers per hour the entire time on autopilot. As you can see, it's minus 17 degrees Celsius, and uh, the car is actually doing just fine. I, you know, like I say, I pre-warmed it, and the car was in a warm garage. So when you look over here at the rated range versus what I'm actually getting in the projected over the last 50 kilometers, this is completely amazing. And uh, part of that is due to just back up. It's way too shaky. Um, part of that is due to uh, the wind because the wind is actually pushing us a little bit on this drive and uh, so I might actually uh, actually let me just check this trip again here real quick okay I did accidentally reset this uh, was 84% I mean 100% uh, when we started and then I reset it by accident at uh, I think 89 so the when we arrive there the current speed and conditions Instead of arriving with 63%, it's now estimating 56%. This number was changing prior to me resetting it, but it's just, you know, it's just kind of adjusting itself based on the driving. So. Anyway, so far I'm happy with uh, how it's going, and uh, as long as everything's going good still, in the next 50k or so, I'll probably uh, probably speed up and should have lots of lots of energy to get there. All right, stay tuned again. Well, we made it, 156 kilometers later, and uh, so I drove 90 kilometers per hour for almost the first half, and then I went to 100. So in the end, we, uh, we went down to 55% battery, which is pretty good, and much of that is just due to um, having the car in the heated garage and charging it up to 100% just before we left, so we had a warm battery and a pre-warmed car. So demands on the battery weren't as hard. Uh, it's only about minus 18 Celsius right now. Uh, so it's cool, but it's not, you know, super cold. It's supposed to get down to something like minus 26 tonight, so we'll see. I'm going to plug in here at PV Mart just for a little while. Uh, PV Mart and Sun Country Highway are awesome, by the way, especially when you're in uh, kind of a rural part of Saskatchewan like I am. Anyway, so uh, we'll plug in here just for a bit. We'll make sure the charger's working good and everything, and then head off to the hotel for 110 charging overnight. Oh, one quick thing I forgot. If you're charging, turn range mode off. Because uh, it has something to do with the battery heater. Hey guys, I've been here charging for about a half hour and um, the PV Mart charger at this location is uh, 48 amps uh, through the Sun Country Highway. Um, Basically, you're looking at the reality of driving a Model S in Saskatchewan because Tesla doesn't currently plan to build any superchargers here in the province. So, uh, 42 kilometers per hour of range I'm getting there. So, 20 kilometers in a half hour. If I turn the heat off, which I did, I turned the heat off for a little bit, and uh, it did it did go up a little bit. 
That kind of sucks if you're doing a long road trip. <sighs> All right, well, it's the next morning and um, take a look here. Uh, it didn't get very cold, uh, minus 22 Celsius. Not sure what that is in Fahrenheit. Not bad at all. It, uh, it did pop down as low as minus 26 at one point, but uh, not for long. Um, so I'm just back at the PV Mart. PV Mart, Sun Country. You can see you're plugged in there. Um, so we're back on the old 48 amp. I'm going to go to my appointment, leave the car here for a few hours. I didn't set it to 100% just because the car will probably sit here for uh, for a few hours. Um, but basically overnight I had plugged in at the hotel on 110. Started with 240 kilometers. Uh, about 12 hours later there was about 280 kilometers. So I gained about 40 kilometers. Uh, because it had a warm battery from driving and, and charging over here. Um, that was actually a little better than I expected. And uh, so I turned the preheating on and uh, I lost 17 kilometers of range <laughs> in a matter of, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes of, of pre-warming the interior. So I'm just going to leave the car here. Thanks PV Mart and Sun Country and uh, go to my appointment. All right, we're just about to leave and uh, disconnect from the charger. Um, I changed my mind and decided to charge to 100% because I knew I'd be very close by the time we left and uh, I could also preheat so good enough we're going to take off here and uh, have a bite to eat before we hit the road. Quick update, we're uh, just past a third of the way uh, on the way back home. Sorry we're going to be a bit shaky here again. Um, you can see the temperature, it's about minus 25 Celsius, it's cooling off. The initial estimate was 54% when we arrived, and uh, I think because we're going into the wind and the temperature being cool, uh, it's dropped to 44%. So uh, we'll see what happens. And just for giggles, I noticed here on the Tesla page, uh, the Model S page, zero emissions, zero compromises. Well, let me tell you, there's some compromises if you live in Saskatchewan. Stay tuned. We're on that bumpy section of road again, but uh, well, I'll try and fix this. Uh, the left half of that is range mode off. I mean range mode on, and the right half is uh, range mode off. I wanted to see what impact that would have on the range. So uh, surprisingly less impact than I thought it would be. Range mode. I made it home. There's uh, I turned range mode on uh, just for the last like I don't know 15 20 minutes. Uh, you can see here we arrived with 41% battery remaining and we started out with 98 so um, it's quite a bit more usage than going there. Uh, it was colder on the return trip and I also think we were probably going into the wind a bit although it wasn't very windy I think you know just a little bit of wind. Well, based on the uh, rated range uh, amount that I got, uh, going from 100% to 0% on that return trip uh, would have been a maximum of 268 kilometers. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and thanks for watching.